We are on the Carnival Horizon, and tonight we are trying Gigi's for the first time. I'm so excited. This was recommended pretty highly to us, so let's go. I think we're late. All right, so we just sat down at Gigi's. And I'm already so excited. We're so excited. This menu excited. is so good. <laughs> the menu is from all across Asia, and it is served family style. So when you sit down, they bring you a card that looks like this. Um, there's four different sections. There's appetizers and soups, entrees, sides, noodles, and rice, and of course, everyone's favorite. Desserts. Desserts. <laughs> and so all across Asia include China, Mongolia, Vietnam, Philippines, um, and what else am I missing? Indonesia and Singapore. So a lot of different regions that you can try and it gives you a numbered system so you know what region you're trying. And where it's coming from. And they recommend that you get two things from each section. Jared and I might be getting a little bit more than that just because we're so excited to try so many things from this restaurant. And I'm hungry. I had a salad for lunch so I'm ready to eat. <laughs> All right, so we are starting off with some pre-dinner drinks. What did you get? I got the Thai iced tea, um, which I love a good Thai iced tea, so I can't wait to try it. What about you? I had the Bali Sunset. Um, it's a little bit of Bacardi rum with some different fruits. I know there's pineapple in here. Yeah. And the great thing with the Thai iced tea is it's zero proof, so this is friendly for the kids as well. This one is not. <laughs> Go ahead and taste it. All right. Ooh. It's very light, you know, like a Thai tea can be very strong and overpowering. Very much more milky, very light. Oh, this is good. You're going to want to try it. Oh my gosh, I have to try it. That's good. It's really sweet. You can taste the pineapple. That's delicious. It's a Bali sunset, so you're supposed to feel like you're in Bali. Bali. And I feel that way tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna add some sweetener to my uh, Thai iced tea to sweeten her up. <laughs> I mean, I hope our food comes soon. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. All right, our first appetizer here is here, and it is the pork belly. The slow braised pork belly. It's um, got a crispy top, and it has, what kind of sauces on top of this? So it is a caramel chili sauce with black vinegar. So let's try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed it to you. Oh, oh, you go. oh okay. <laughs> so good. I love a crunch. The pork belly has a really nice crunch to it. It's tender. So I do like the meat here. Um, and that sauce, I didn't taste so much of the sauce. Maybe we pour a little more sauce on it. What are your thoughts? It's so good. It's got a crispy skin. The middle is really, really tender. It is really tender. I'm gonna just taste the sauce here. I love the sauce. It's sweet, it's tangy. This is a win for me. Yeah, I love it. Our second appetizer is here. It is the Nanjing style duck. Uh, it comes with a green chili sauce, uh, as well as poison sauce, and then some like some shallots and some other stuff. It's mostly crispy. It's 1,400 years old. This looks so good. I think we should cheers with our forks. Yes, cheers with our forks. Cheers. Oh, oh. <laughs> I immediately taste that chili sauce. It's spicy, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. good. The duck, though, is crispy. Mm. This is a win for me. The duck is crispy, but tender on the inside. Kind of like a pork belly, but better. Honestly, out of the two, I would get this one over the other one. Same. This is so good. I'm eating it with my fingers. <laughs> I dropped it again. What about the shallots and the, the bean? Let me try that. It's crispy as well. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, but it's so crispy. Let me try it. The spice level here is, is really good. It's spicy, but it also it has that sweet heat flavor almost. So it's got good flavor with the spice. That's important for spice. Yeah. You don't want it just to be hot. You want to have good flavor, and this has good flavor. This is another win. We like the duck. <laughs> so our entrees are here. The first one that we are trying is the Kung Pao chicken. One of my favorites back at home. So let's see what it is at I sea. I hear that it's a little spicy. There's some cashews in here. And this is the spiciest thing you can get in the menu. Let's, let's try, try it. it. I need another bite. I do too. It's really good. In terms of spice level, I don't think it's that spicy. 
not spicy at all. It is, no. For it's someone spicy. who loves spice, it's just got a hint of spice. And it's a little bit of an afterkick. Like my mouth is starting to kind of realize it is a little spicy. A little afterkick. But um, it's it comes really with cashews, um, which I love a good cashew chicken. Mm. So having Kung Pao with the, the, the nice cashews in here is nice as well. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Next, we have the Boko beef short rib. It's slow braised. Look at this. It looks tender. Let's try it. I can't wait. Okay, I'm a short rib fan, and here's here's the thing. This is definitely it does not taste like your traditional Asian dish. Ooh, good point. Good point. But it is delicious short rib. The mender, the the meat is super tender. The sauce is delicious. I'm going in for another bite. Mm. Yeah, this is good. So tender, so delicious. Definitely recommend. Mm -hmm. right. Next up is the Hakka style noodles from China. They smell delicious, look delicious, and we got them with chicken. So we're gonna try these. They're small noodles, really, really tiny. You can kind of see them dangling there. Let's try them. Okay, I would say light on flavor. Light on flavor, but a good side dish. A great to side pair dish. With, like the spicier of the chicken, or with the pork belly, or not pork belly, short rib. Short rib. <laughs> They're still, it's really delicious still, and it is like it still is that like typical Asian style noodle. Mm -hmm. mm. The noodles are cooked really well. Like sometimes you get like that overcooked noodle. These are, under, yeah, these, these are not mushy. Really, really good. Should we dig right into the fried rice? We should. All right, the other side we have was fried rice. And this is the Himalayan Balsamati fried rice. Mm. Yeah. All right. We also got this one with chicken. Jordan's going to dig right in. I'll you can get right these behind. with shrimp as well. Um, we chose chicken, though. We chose chicken. Really good. Not overpowering. I would Again. say both the sides are the same. Mm -hmm. They're, they have a little bit of flavor, not an uh, overpowering amount of flavor. Good side dishes to complement the main entree. Yeah, because the main entrees that we've tried, are, they punch you with flavor, <laughs> and they're so good. And right. This one is pretty good, just as a side dish. So we're gonna keep digging in. We're gonna dig in. Dessert is here. It's dessert time. <laughs> Our favorite part of the meal, and we're starting. We got one of everything, <laughs> but we are starting with the caramelized crepes, and that is with a special citrus ice cream. It comes from the Philippines, so we're excited. We haven't had anything from the Philippines yet, and oh, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it good? Yes, you have to try it. I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here comes mm. mine. The caramel on top is so divine. Um, the ice cream, the citrus ice cream is a nice touch. It adds a level of flavor, but it's cold. I love the crepes being like frozen cold, you know, like that really nice. It's almost like a frozen chocolate banana, but caramel and crepes. Okay, I will say this. If you're not a big fan of citrus, this might not be the dessert for you. Right, it is, it is citrusy. I'm not a big citrus dessert person, and while I can tell this is good, this is probably not something that I would order for myself. Yes, calamansi you, though, love citrus ice cream. It's delicious for me. I love citrus, so this is great. Right. All right, this, for the second dessert, we have the lychee fried wonton with tapioca pearls in coconut milk. We're picking this up with our hands. We're doing this. We're doing this with our hands. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, I'm getting as much of the milk in here as possible. Soaking it up. Mm. This is good. Ooh, this is nice. Um, the lychee is definitely there. It is strong lychee flavor, which I like. It tastes like candy almost. It really does. It's like a wonton wrapped candy. Like a lychee candy with the tapioca pearls. Yeah, I love this. It's so good, you're dripping. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Last dessert I can't actually have because of an allergy, but it is rose creme, creme brulee, brulee, and it has a ginger ice cream on the side, so. Ooh, I am gonna I'm try that out. ginger. I'm gonna try the ginger ice cream, because the ginger ice cream sounds amazing. Mm. It's such a delicious creme brulee. It has just a hint of rose. And there's a little dried rose on top to give it a little bit of like a decor piece. We have another bite here just to give you a little bit more. 
the ginger ice cream is, is delicious. It's a little bit spicy, which is strange for ice cream, but it's super good. Dig in there and try that. What do you think? It's so good. This is another good pairing. Honestly, the, all the desserts have been good. It just depends on what you like best. So go for what you think is, uh, you know, proper for your taste and flavor palette. Um, it's all good. And enjoy your dessert. All right, our meal here at Gigi's is complete. They brought us this little basket. What is inside? Fortune cookies. I can't wait. Uh, this meal was amazing. It was a good meal. We really had a good time. We'll let you know what we recommend here in a bit. Yes, but cheers. What is your Let's say? Let's get some fortune. Ooh, that just crumbled and it was good. Ooh, mine says someone close to you will show you the way. Mine says compassion is very much a part of you. Oh, Aww. wow, that's so sweet. Oh, so sweet. Mmm. <laughs> These are good. I like. Seriously, overall, we couldn't recommend Gigi's more. It was a delicious meal. Mm -hmm. It's been our favorite meal we've had here on Carnival Horizon. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, definitely. Yes. Yeah, so when you're on the Horizon or or other Carnival ships, come check out Gigi's. Until next time. See ya.